Welcome. Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Robert Hajnal of uh, Romania. Congratulations on a tremendous race. Thanks. Thanks a lot. It was it was really great. Uh, you um, you've had some really good performances in the past. You've been strong here at CCC. I think you had a good Lavaredo in the past. Yeah. Um, but what happened yesterday? It was kind of a miracle. Yeah. I guess for me, but uh, it didn't pay it off uh, if I didn't put the hard work in it and a good uh, nutritional strategy, I guess. And just uh, to be patient, to ex expect like very good runners to have troubles and be in the back of them and just pass them. Yeah. That's, that happens. So that's a good strategy. You were well prepared and you had a good strategy of letting, running your race. But could you have expected to be second at UTMB? No, no. I was thinking that last year Kilian was second, so <laughs> it's unbelievable. But I expected to be in top 10. Yeah. It was like a dream to be in the top 10, but not the second. I mean, you were at the, the Trail World Championships in Peña Golosa earlier this year and were a strong contender, but uh, didn't have a great race there. What was the difference between uh, that race and uh, this weekend? I will start to make the similarities. I train a lot for Peña Golosa too. Mm -hmm. I've been there for one month and a half, like here too, one month. Mm -hmm. But uh, there, my nutrition went uh, wild, and I puked two times there, and that's what happened there. Mm -hmm. But I made the hard work, like here, so um, and no stomach. Problems no, no, here? No stomach problems. No, only puked once on uh, the climb <laughs> from Cormeur to Bertone. I don't know why. Yeah? It's not like you were felt bad for a long time. It just no, happened? No, no. Five minutes. And, and after yeah. that, I felt great. After It's usual. You puke, you feel better. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did you have any other problems during the race or difficulties? Uh, no, no. I really felt really good in the night. Yeah. And from uh, Le Contamin to Cormeur. When I saw what good runners I passed, I really had wings. Yeah, it, it uh, gave you some encouragement. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, and yeah, you you moved up the entire race. Uh, it, it, is that like a, a good mental strategy for you? It's my... It's the way I like to race. Just uh, start slow and uh, at the finish, gave all in. Yeah? Yeah, it, I think it's... Uh, Negative split. It's uh, under 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 appreciated. Yeah, they <laughs> every good runners are going too fast, in my opinion. Yeah, and even if you don't have an actual negative split, like in a marathon, maybe in a, in a trail ultra, that approach of trying to run fast the second half. You, yeah, you try yeah. it. I try it, and the winner of TDS this year, the Polish guy, tried yeah. too, and it paid off. And I mean, a few years ago, Ludovic Pomeray. Yeah. Won. yeah. I mean, some of that was other issues, but you can work up. And yeah, that's yeah. Uh, a well played race from Ludovic in that year. Yeah, as like as with you t yesterday. Yeah, I, I didn't want it, but <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not this time. Not right? this time. Not this time. Um, so, have you always been an athlete? No, I've started running only five years ago. Yeah, and uh, I've been, I'm doing ultras from since 2013. So five years yeah. to second place at uh, at UTMB. And so you weren't you never ran as a child? Did you play other sports? I played football, soccer. Yeah, yeah. in when I was really young, but uh, but not at. Uh, not not An very, elite. No, 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 because I you will take me from Barcelona interview <laughs> <laughs> if I will play it on a little level. But you you play you were active, but then yes. how did you find trail running? It was a perfect moment when I really wanted to know the mountains, mm -hmm. and uh, a friend of mine invited me to this event, a twenty eight k with one. 
1,800 elevation. I didn't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I went there. I suffered. I came 17th, mm -hmm. I guess, from 15, yeah, 15 other participants. And after one year, I saw that there are many races, ultra marathons. I saw a 100 kilometer race and mm. I said that next year I will register and I will win it <laughs> and I won it and you, in Romania. You just keep going with it. Yeah. Yeah. What is the uh, what is the trail running scene in Romania? It's very, very popular yeah? sport. Yeah, it's becoming much more popular with every year. We don't have so many ultra marathons, but we have uh, great races to race there. And now, now you're one of the hero, heroes of Romanian trail running. Yeah, I guess. With, a, with a, your performance yesterday, I think so. Uh, do you have any other races planned for this year? I just will take a break. Yeah. And after that, I will see. I don't know. You could just retire and leave on top now. That's, that's, a, good, <laughs> that's a good plan. And make five children. You have five children? No, and make oh, five Oh, make children. five children. <laughs> yeah. Like, you did that in, in five years with five children? Yeah, no, no. no. Do you have a family or no? No, only yeah. my girlfriend and my mother who supports me very well. Yeah. Do you, uh, what is your, uh, what do you do during the day? Do you have a job or do you yeah, do this full time? I, I work in the Romanian army. In the army, yeah? Yeah. Like Mr. Evans, Tom Evans. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, what, what, what role? What is your, uh... I mean, charge sport on okay. my unit. So yeah. it's a very good, uh, part of it cool well i hope to see you at a race again soon congratulations thanks. robert and thanks brian enjoy thanks